Ah, uh, <laughs> you're busting out the moves. I like Come the on, music. Mike, do I it like on camera. Music. Speaking of heat, <laughs> the, you know, the heat is really on right now in yes, San Antonio. Hot. Heat advisory has been uh, put in effect, and the heat index is 105 to 110. And that's dangerous. That could be really that's dangerous. very dangerous. The best thing you can do is actually stay inside, try to stay in air condition, try to stay out of it, because... If you get heat stroke and you're outside, you know, you before somebody can come help you, it can be too late. And if you have to be outside, what would you say? Drink a lot of water? Drink a lot of water. And again, the biggest thing is just if this, this time of day, the next few days, just stay inside in air conditioning. As a matter of fact, that's what you were talking about earlier, right before the break. It's air yes. conditioning. Yes. Speaking of air conditioning, Esteban met up with our friends at John Wayne Heating and Air Conditioning to help get some tips on the pro from the pros on how to take care of your system. You don't want anything to go wrong, especially right now with your Ooh. unit. Let's see what they came up with. I'm at John Wayne Heating and Air Conditioning with Don Rackler. Don, how you doing? Great, sir. So we are at the John Wayne Academy for Technical Excellence. That's got to be pretty cool to have at your, at your place. It's awesome. Actually, you know, we're the only company in San Antonio that has its full-time trainer and a training facility. I have the most NATE certified technicians in San Antonio, so I can deliver the best product and service to our customers every day. There's a lot of companies that are not professionally trained. We want to make sure when our technician shows up at a customer house, he knows what he's doing, he has the tools with him to diagnose their system correctly and fix it promptly, and our trucks are fully stocked, so 96% of the time we can make that repair right then. Don, let's take a walk. Tell me about the air conditioning, how it works, how it runs, the do's and the don'ts. How does this thing work? What you're basically looking at here, this is a furnace, this is an evaporator coil that's simulating a supply duct, and this is the return air duct. And typically how in most systems house is that we're drawing air into the system, goes through the filtration, into the furnace, which also contains a blower, this is the cooling coil, and the air comes out. So we're circulating the same air over and over again. It just, there's a lot of people think that unit outside is blowing air in the house. The air that's moving in the house comes from the indoor unit, either a furnace or an air handler. So what happens if you don't take care of your system properly, though? Well, that causes all kinds of problems because systems are designed for maximum amounts of air flows. Uh, basically, every system, whether it be a three-ton or a four-ton, uh, roughly it's about 400 CFM of air per ton. So if like this system here is a four-ton system, so we need 1,600 cubic feet of air moving all the time. And if that gets restricted, that causes problems with the system, can cause your compressor to fail, doesn't cool properly, low efficiency, higher utility bills. So systems being cleaned and maintained is very important that your system is going to last as long as it's supposed to. It's going to save you on those energy bills. So maintenance is very important. Speaking of maintenance, this is an on-maintenance uh, coil. Yes. Filter, this is an end. Right. This is an evaporator coil. This is your cooling coil. Okay. That's the part that we looked up on top of this unit here. Actually, this coil just came out of a customer's house two days ago, and you can see it's totally impacted with dirt and filth. And this this happens because of two things: one, no maintenance, and poor filtration, because. The dirt cannot get there unless the filter is not doing its job. So those little cheap filters that you can buy for 99 cents don't do anything. All they catch is the cat. You have to have great filtration if you want to stop this from happening on your coil. Well, we do heating and air conditioning, we do plumbing, and we do electrical. And all of our technicians are factory trained. So if you have a problem with your heater, your air conditioner, a plumbing, a toilet, your hot water heater, or any kind of electrical issue, call John Wayne Heating, Cooling, Plumbing, and Electrical. Now, John Wayne is one of our hometown experts. you got to get more information on FoxSanAntonio.com for him right. and all the other experts we have. Don Rackler is amazing. John Wayne Air Heating and Plumbing. Here's the phone number, 293-5550, JohnWayneAir.com. And don't forget, visit that page, FoxSanAntonio.com, and click on Fox Hometown Expert.